Self-illuminating exit signs have been required in building codes by the U.S. federal government since the 1930s, and the original signs used radium paint. Since the 1950s, tritium exit signs have been the norm, and while much safer than radium paint, are still a potential hazard. Even worse, given how they're marketed, most small businesses have no idea that they're hazardous. Newer self-illuminating exit signs use photoluminescent technology, which has improved dramatically in the last decade and is sure to be the norm in the future. However, there is still a large number of tritium exit signs still in use today. A tritium exit sign uses an isotope of hydrogen gas with two additional neutrons called tritium. Tritium is a low-energy radioactive element with a short half-life and is contained in several small tubes mounted in a shockproof container. The radiation that tritium gives off is beta decay, which hits a phosphor layer and emits light. It's safe to handle a tritium light in routine operation, but it's hazardous if any of the tritium tubes break. While these tubes are quite difficult to break, and should remain safe for years, there is still a disposal issue to think of, plus the general reaction of the public on discovery of the use of any radiological materials. If the tubes were to break, tritium is still a lighter-than-air molecule, meaning that it will spread far and wide, posing a radioactive hazard. Worse yet, tritium will bond with free oxygen to form tritiated water, which is persistent in a biological sense. In essence, drinking tritiated water means that it stays inside your tissues for a while, where it can do more damage over a longer period of time. Disposing of a tritium-lit self-illuminating exit sign means that nuclear regulatory commission protocols must be followed, and failure to follow them can result in significant fines measured in tens of thousands of dollars. If they're broken on site, it gets even worse, as the regulations for moving any kind of low-level radioactives involve bringing in consultants and nuclear cleanup crews. Unfortunately, the end result of a lot of these signs is that they don't get disposed of properly, and they sit in landfills, where they slowly leak and make the situation worse. Tritium has a half-life of a little over 12 years and the amount of time it would take for tritium to naturally decay to a safe level is roughly three half-life cycles, or about 37 years. If you're a small business owner, look carefully into the issue of disposing your old exit signs, and look closely at what you'll replace them with. There is a growing movement to mandate replacement of tritium exit signs, and it may be less expensive to do it now than to do it later. The issues associated with tritium exit signs have led many building owners to consider photoluminescent technology. Photoluminescent exit signs are self-powered, utilizing glow-in-the-dark pigments. These exit signs absorb ambient light during the day hours and release that energy in darkness. They require zero electricity and can last for up to 25 years. And best of all, they are totally safe and have none of the radioactive issues that tritium signs possess. For more information on photoluminescent signs and products, visit GlobrightSystem.com. Globrite offers photoluminescent exit signs, safety signs, and egress systems. And Globrite is a leader in the photoluminescent revolution.